I need you to comment how you feel about this situation. And so we're left with another difficult choice. And so we're left with another difficult choice. Uh, do we follow through on the promise? The very reason that we decided to shut down Overwatch 1 and start up Overwatch 2? Do we continue to pour all that effort into to PvE, uh, hoping that we can land it at some point in the future? Um, or do we stick with this set of values we've aligned on and Focus on the live game and focus on serving all of you. Or do we focus on the set of battle passes we've aligned on and focus on nickel and diming you? We were gonna, but now we're not. You got a problem with it? Go buy a trans shirt, bitch. You see them trans colors? Doesn't that make you want to spend? You cock motherfucker, you dirty, you sorry little. Oh, you want some more LGBT characters? Look at the feet. Isn't that what you like? With everything we've learned about what it takes to operate this game at the level that you deserve, it's clear that we, we can't deliver on that original vision for PvE that was shown in 2019. You know, it sounds crazy when they say it like that. 2019, that was nearly half a decade ago. But that was around when most people decided, hey, I'm going to stop playing Overwatch. You know why? I respect myself. I'd like to go on record as being opposed to the use of violence for purposes of conflict resolution. However... Well, I know that sounds crazy. Gamer, respect myself. I am a gamer. You know, but... In this industry, if you give an inch, they'll take a mile. They show you what they hope to get away with. And if you don't check them... <laughs> You really don't want to see how crazy things will get. Halo Infinite literally just did this. And in case you've forgotten, real gamers weaponized memes to kick the game right back into development when they were willing to release it even more incomplete than it was at launch. They know it isn't ready. They know it isn't tested. They don't care. And why should they when you buy it regardless? But it's worse than people buying it. These shills are ready to defend this. Oh, hell no. No, PV isn't dead, but rather it's just going to be a, a tiny thing of what it could have been. And I know it's going to probably be pretty good. It will still be pretty good. They'll have these yeah. beautiful cinematics, beautiful art. It's going to be pretty hype. Just like the losers that were trying to equate Redfall criticism to threats of the hostile variety. Oh, can't we please just be civil? Overwatch fans, we are not impressed that you have managed to wade in garbage soup for this long. We are shocked that somehow you didn't see this coming. You don't think yeah, all of us that are jumping into Diablo second. 4 expect at some point to get utterly by monetization we are curious the only real question isn't if it's when how long will we be able to have fun with diablo before it all goes to shit but some of y'all didn't see it coming what is that what is wrong with you how old are you what's going on with your like reasoning overwatch 2 Tankles, the PvE mode that was the reason they shut down the first one and forced you all to embrace this new monetization model. Kankles, is that a joke at the weight of the average Overwatch 2 consumer? I don't know, the jury's out. But hey, you'll always have Battle Pass. Remember when they were trying to get everybody's number? If it weren't for real gamers, y'all would have just. Eber, daddy. That's y'all. That's what y'all are like. The children are right to laugh at you. <laughs> the children are right to laugh at you, Ralph. Hello, beta testers. Rock and stone. Blizzard's been in the game damn near since the beginning of online gaming, and they're laughing daily at you lame, easily triggered, soy-drinking, woke, pay pigs. Gaming is not a safe space, and representation and diversity shouldn't justify a bad game. It's pretty obvious you guys are willing to do mental gymnastics for if you're convincing yourself to continue playing Overwatch. The developers have been, are currently, and will continue to laugh at the diary of a wimpy kid meets Scrody McBoogerball's ass life the kids paying into this are living, and it would be easy to join them. But believe it or not, 
This video is not me taking the opportunity to dunk or dog on people who decided to stick around and maybe even started playing since most of us decided to move on having played it all those years ago when it was called what it really is, Overwatch 1. You need to take this lesson and apply the knowledge into wisdom. This may be your first rodeo. It isn't any real gamers, and it sure as hell ain't blizzards. How you react to this horseshit is what molds the industry that you're a refugee in, fake gamer. Jump off of Overwatch. You know why I go out of my way to inform people on how many years have passed during development? It's because things change, studios change, and after high-profile departures of creative leads, sometimes founders, leading to woke signaling, that always seems to deliver a product that is half-baked and overpriced. You should see a pattern here, right? Maybe you're a scrub that can find a match real fast because you suck. But is a player good enough to spend more time matchmaking than finding a match because of skill-based matchmaking? Overwatch was unplayable years ago. The copiums run out. Don't huff at them, fumes. We're all gamers here and we all need our stupid time to get our rocks off, but you've run out of lube and you need to stop bending over, Overwatch consumer. We say this out of love. You're accepting serious damage to your hole. And yes, it's your choice. The choice that you've already made to wear diapers, but at least it's a choice at the moment and not a necessity. And I'm getting real sick of watching the types that want to cover up a woman's tits dictate how the industry goes because losers like like the people in this player base are why they can effortlessly take over. Overwatch 2 is the Velma, the She-Hulk, the Black Cleopatra of gaming, as hypocritical as a Mortal Kombat wanting to rip out spines and crack skulls but blood and gore. It's okay, but not titty. So if I had to choose one game that had the most members of its player base likely to boycott a phenomenal game like Hogwarts Legacy, it would be y'all Overwatch 2, and you get what you fucking deserve. What that means is that we won't be delivering that dedicated hero mode with talent trees, um, that long-term power progression. Uh, those things just aren't in our plans anymore. If you support this, you are literally beneath the Destiny 2 consumer. Overwatch cucks the only people you're more pathetic to, outside of us and your parents, of course, is the Blizzard team. Keep paying for the battle passes. It's not that bad. They apologized. They're sorry. Beta testers, if you've been here since Avengers, how does this sound? And we know that this is going to be disappointing to many of you, which is why we wanted to bring it up before we talked about the roadmap. And to be perfectly honest, it's been really difficult for, for many of us and, and a lot of folks on the team who poured their heart and soul into that. Ooh, it's really difficult. We poured our heart and soul. You can buy the battle pass because your booty hoe slow. Booty hoe slow. Arch that back. Bend over over. Watch. Take it in the crack. Take it in the crack. Crack, take it in the crack, Overwatch fans gay, so they gotta throw it back.